John Arkwright's mother paid for his birth by digging potatoes during the final stages of her pregnancy. And later she recited Poe's The Raven to put John to sleep at night. <laughs> he earned a doctorate in economics from the University of South Carolina with a dissertation on terrorist bargaining. John met his wife, Julia, at a Dungeons and Dragons game in college. And they now live in a small southern mountain town with their three sons. Many details of his life in the South help to paint the picture of his Civil War fantasy story, The Sundial, a contest finalist that was chosen for inclusion in the anthology. Please congratulate John Arkwright. Thanks to my Facebook friend, Kevin Anderson. <laughs> I think he is everybody's Facebook friend. <laughs> thanks to Heavenly Father for answering my prayers. Thanks to my mother. Thanks to my father, who is my hero. Thanks to my wife, who is my best reader. She is the most voracious reader in the world. She buys five books a week. She is financially ruining me. <laughs> Sweetheart, I only said it for the laugh and it worked, so it was worth it. <laughs> Thanks to my gang of three writing group, including Bonnie Jean Robinson, and Barbara Seaton, thanks to Stonepile Riders of North Georgia. Thanks to L. Ron Hubbard for his legacy. To Joni Labaki and all of Author Services. To Maliva Coach and all of Galaxy Press. To Katie Wentworth for all that she does throughout the year, and to Katie Wentworth and Tim Powers for this week teaching us the craft and the business of writing, and to Tim Powers for teaching me that it is acceptable to write for whatever reason I possess. Thank you to the judges for all the work that you've done, for all the wisdom that you have imparted to us in these last few days. For all those years when we were reading your books, we knew you were entertaining us. We knew you were inspiring us. We didn't know you were teaching us. You're very sneaky. <laughs> but thank you for that. 